Welcome to UND.com's coverage of the Big East Women's Basketball Championship from Hartford, Connecticut. A big game for Notre Dame tonight as they take on Connecticut for the championship, a game the Irish have never won, but looking forward to the challenge tonight. And it's a big day for Notre Dame in a lot of ways, including some big news. Our Vice President and Director of Athletics, Jack Swarbrick, is here. And Jack, so many people around the country are so excited about the news that came out today. Well, it's, it's good for our student athletes and our programs. Um, uh, you know, they needed the certainty of knowing what was happening and, and what the schedule would be next year. And, and uh, thanks to the Big East and uh, our colleagues there, we were able in very short order once the uh, deal with the Catholic Seven was announced to get one done for Notre Dame. It seems that people uh, might have thought that things were going to happen and waiting for an announcement, but it was so important to make things happen the right way to leave uh, with a good relationship with the Big East and the people that are going to be remaining there, the Catholic Seven. Everybody has to play each other. College athletics is the greatest game going, and uh, you did it the right way. Well, thanks. I hope we did. I hope I hope everyone involved feels that way. But you're absolutely right. It's too small an industry. You know, it's uh, from a football's perspective, you've got, you know, 120-plus FBS schools. You want to maintain a relationship. And in the broader Division One world with basketball, the same thing applies. And so these these are colleagues not only in sports but in, in academic pursuits and other things we do. So it's important to do it the right way. So many times your uh, success is measured by the opportunity you give your coaches and your teams to be successful. Right now, 13 teams ranked in national polls, including the women's basketball team number two. It's been a tremendous year from start to uh, the midpoint right now, and our baseball team is doing well, so uh, things are going very well athletically. It has been a great year, thanks to our coaches and, and the student athletes. And, and, and you see an interesting dynamic at play, and that is programs like this one, the women's basketball program, alter the expectations of everyone. You, you know, the rising tide lifts all boats, and you see that in, in our athletic program. So when hockey gets to the Frozen Four twice, and, and Mike has this remarkable streak in the Big East and, and getting to the NCAA tournament, football team goes undefeated this year, it really starts to create a sense across the program that, hey, we can aim as high as we want to. And the uh, commitment that you've made uh, to the future with the ACC, talk about what that means as far as, I mean, you talk about excellence in a lot of different areas. All of a sudden our soccer teams, which have been as good as anybody in the country, are playing the other teams that are as good as anybody. I mean, it's a great league. Well, across the board, we're going to have to step up our game. There's no question. And we knew this when we made the decision. Um, and our coaches are excited about that. That's why you come to Notre Dame. You, you, you want to compete with the best. And in so many of these sports, the ACC defines that. Lacrosse, basketball soccer, the list goes on. Um, so it, it's a great challenge for our teams, but, but at the core of why we did this was the fit with the school generally. Uh, the profile of those institutions, uh, a lot of private institutions uh, share our, our approach to collegiate athletics, and that's what we're most excited about. Yeah, the academic integrity a big part of it as well. Absolutely, it is. And, and um, you know, it's, uh, we have so many friends there already before we even start. People who've worked at Notre Dame uh, or have a direct connection to it. And then it just, there's a, there's a similarity, a comfort level, if you will, with those institutions and us that we're excited about joining them. You had a chance to see the game last night. Notre Dame handled Louisville pretty handily, and Muffet McGraw had a chance to get some of our starters on the bench, get them some rest. Three games in three days, not many teams have done that. We did it out in Las Vegas, and over the years we've had a, a great success rate with the conditioning of our team, and, and I know you had to be impressed by what they're doing. Natalie Chama, 20-20 in the first game. Skylar Diggins is so special. Uh, what do you expect tonight? Well, I expect a battle. You know, these, these two teams, uh, and I don't think there was a lot of film watching going on. They know each other so well. They compete so hard with each other. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward to it. But, um, you know, Muffet has his team in a position where its season is, isn't defined tonight one way or another, win or lose. It's, it's, it's in the weeks ahead, and I couldn't be more excited going into the tournament because, as we saw in the second half last night, when this team is hitting on all cylinders, it's really fun to watch. It, it was like a clinic there for a while. You know, they are in great shape and ready to go, and uh, what a big day. A uh, big chance to win the Big East uh, postseason tournament for the first time, and, of course, a great announcement with Notre Dame Athletics today. Congratulations on all the work. A lot of effort behind the scenes that uh, went into that success. Well, thanks very much. A lot of effort by a lot of people across the university, not just athletics. You don't, you, you don't get something like this done uh, without the leadership from the president's office, and a special, special thanks to our general counsel who worked so hard on this and her staff. So a lot of people involved, and we're just happy to get it behind us and move on. All right, Coach, I know you want to get your green shirt on for tonight, right? Absolutely. All right, Jack Swarbrick joining us here on UND.com. We'll have continuing coverage of the Notre Dame trip to the Big East Championship. That will follow the, the game tonight on UND.com. Thanks for being with us. Oh!